Well, we are going into a lock now, and that Trent wants to watch it happen. So here comes Trent. And what do you think, Trent? Really? He says Fanny's afraid. She's afraid if she fell out, she'd get smashed between the wall and the boat. But not the man, not Trent. So what do you think, Trent? Let's look up above. Oh. You can see how close we are <laughs> to the wall. Look at that. See? <laughs> we need some people looking out the back there. <laughs> so I don't know how many locks we've gone through. Trent wants to know if we're coming in here, we're going to get locked in. And you know, we did the other day. <laughs> we went through all the water being added in and being lifted back up, and the lock gate for us to go out was stuck. So they had to quick fix it so we could get out. So the uh, cruise director said it could either be two minutes or we could be here till Christmas. <laughs> so, well, obviously we're not here till Christmas. What'd you say? Oh, since he's really enjoying himself and he's glad that we asked him to come along. I mean, look at the way his eyes just penetrate. Oh yeah, look at that. Handsome dude, I can see why Fanny loves you so much. <coughs> well, you want to sit down for a bit until we start coming back up? Okay, you go sit over there. But I'm not, we'll be back. I'm going to give you a view of looking down space between the boat and I'm looking all the way towards the back. Let's get to the right angle. Then all the way down the front. And we're slowly coming up. So I, I told Trent that I'd, I'd get him back on and we're just starting to see daylight. Well, we're almost there. You can see where the water stops. And we should be above ground where we can see what's around us. Of course, always industrial looking around these blocks. guy just fascinated by this. Here we go, Trent. <laughs> you can't believe that. You almost there? Can you see over yet? No. through a lot of locks. You know, we come in and then they pump water in. We slowly go back up. Then they open the gates. We go out. And I've never understood that the water is a different level. <laughs> Here we go, Trent. Looks like his mouth is hanging open from the side where his electric thing is. <laughs> No, Trent, don't get on the rail. You're not supposed to get on the rail, Trent. Come back here. Why, that was a close one. Grandpa Bob is just sitting over here and making funny face like he can't believe what we're saying, Trent. So how, how do you like the trip so far? You like it? Cool. Yay. He says he likes it because he hasn't made it go out. <clears throat> Excuse me, and do as much walking as Grandma Bev has had to do. <laughs> See, here we come. Here we come. Okay, look between here. Not a whole 
lot around. You want to sit down until we start going back out? Okay, I'll put you down. Put you over here and you can see on the table. There he is. It's too nice bucket. These are <coughs> these windows are nice. It's open up all the way and you've just got this whole open area. <coughs> and being the weather is nice. We just like to sit here in front of the window and read and watch the scenery. What what do you call these? Juliet? Uh, Ju Juliet windows or sliders. Juliet balconies. Okay. Turn you off. We start heading out. Okay, we are making our way out of the lot. Come on back, Trent. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, he's got a voice. <laughs> Here we go, Trent. Don't get too close to the edge. Get you to fall in. Do any of you remember our old character was on some program? Well, maybe it's Saturday Night Live. Mr. Bill, Mr. Bill. Remember that? Maybe that was, wasn't that Howie Mandel that did the, the voice of Mr. Bill? Do you know Trent? Sorry, sorry I asked. <laughs> anyway, while we were on the little break, figured out that this is called a French balcony. Well, it's not really a balcony where you step out, as you see it water right there but you got these wide open doors and luckily they've got these rails like there's one there's one so it's three rails thank goodness <laughs> boy he's just taking it all in Okay, we're just about out, so Mr. Trent, why don't you go back and take a nap with the Fanny and the baby? Okay, have you seen enough? Alrighty, good night, baby boy. Hi, he's quite a character. <laughs> really glad they came along with us. It's been fun showing them some of these things. You know, they might have never seen them in their little lives. I'm going to shut you off for now. I don't know if you can see. I tried to get her faster, but it's a swan family with some babies. Oh, I couldn't get her faster. Oh, well. Now here's a good example. I don't know if you can see it, but see, here's the dam, and the water is at this level. But if you look past that wall, it's up at that level. So as we're going into this, what is this thing? Block. <laughs> Drawing a blank. Our water that we're in will be lowered to this level. And then we'll sail out the other side. Let's see, can you see the difference? See that water back there? Let me see if I can. There you go. See the water there? Then here's the dam, and here's the water level we're going into. Isn't that fascinating? Now, who thought this stuff of? Now I will hold the camera steady, and you can see how we're going down. So they're letting the water out from the area that we're in. Down we go. Wish I knew how many of these we've gone through since we've been on this trip. But, um, I just don't know. See how we're going down? Getting down to the wall now. Here we 
we go. Here it comes. you off till we start coming out and we are on our way out of the locks here we go this is the side wall this is what we see from our room We should get out of this pretty soon. But I just thought that was a good example to show you. Yeah, that's always made me wonder, what the heck? How can water be higher at one spot and <laughs> lower than another? <laughs> You'd think it would just all run into one another. But Mr. Bob explained it all to me. making you dizzy. Mother, uh, That's a collection of birds. Collection of birds scooting her little babies up from the side of the hill there, saying, "Hurry up, get out of the way." You know, they love their babies too. And it looks like you know those are apartments over there. We've seen a lot of RV parks as we've gone through uh, this area, the Moselle. And we're going to get back out to the Rhine, and we have heard through the grapevine. A very reliable source, though, <laughs> that when we get to the Rhine, we're going to have to pack up and change ships because the water level is so low. Our ship can't continue, so we're going to have to be transported to where the water level isn't too low for the boat to go through. This wasn't unexpected, so, you know, we're prepared. What can you do? Like I say, you go with the flow. It's e easier said than done <laughs> when you have to face it. And I think, oh no, I gotta pack again. And then get on the other boat and unpack again. <laughs> you know, we're all settled in here. As long as they put us on another boat and we don't have to finish the rest of the trip on buses. Oh my God, the buses are horrible. They're they're really new and up to date and everything, but for us long legged people, our knees are jammed up against the back of the seat in front of us. And if the person decides in front of us they want to recline, we're even going through more hell. <laughs> and I've even shrunk to five foot seven. Still, my knees are up against that back seat. I just keep telling myself, maintain, maintain. This too shall pass. So I think that's all that you're gonna see through here. Let's see if we can see it. So this is about it. So I'll turn this off for now. Talk to you later.